Hey y'all, what's up? How you been? How you doing? What's been going on on YT? I've been seeing some incredible things, amazing things, some things I'm going to pick up, something I've already picked up. So, this is something new for me. I am going to be doing a favorites video for the month of April. Um, I don't know. It's going to be some of the things I've been reaching for. Um, as far as skincare and cosmetics, and I think I'm limited to that. Um, if I do throw anything extra in, I don't know. I didn't have it planned out. I just was watching some videos today, and I was like, "Hey, you know what? I want to try something different. Let's see um, how a favorites video will work out for me." Because it is some things that I have been reaching for steadily through the month of April and some things that I am in fact loving and because I've never done a favorite video I'm just going to limit the things that I have been loving and using specifically to April um I did do a tutorial for this look it's just an everyday what I've been doing every day smoky eye and what kind of stuff I've been using on my face since it's been getting hot down here at sea I have not been using like my full coverage foundations. I have been using a tinted moisturizer, which is one of my favorites for the month of April. And it is, y'all already know probably because I said tinted moisturizer. It is the NARS Pure Radiance Tinted Moisturizer, and my color is Cuba Medium 3. Baby. This stuff is magnificent. It is a tinted moisturizer, and I do moisturize. Anyway, before I put this on because of it covers like a foundation. Um, it is buildable from my experience. I had built it up to medium coverage, but I like it light because it get hot down here, y'all. Y'all know it get hot in, in the south. Ooh. Like right now it's almost 90 degrees and I'm about to die. And I've been working out, hence the little t shirt and the little sports bra I've been working out. But this is certainly my favorite it is indeed a rave this is an incredible product and i will repurchase this it costs around 42 it costs 42 dollars you can get it at nars or you can get it at sephora you can probably find it on amazon i'm not sure don't quote me on that and i'm probably sure you can find it on ebay but i got mine from sephora it is 1.9 ounces and it is incredible it is incredible um, like I said, I will repurchase this because I love this. This is fabulous. I will wear this all year round if I wanted to. If I had no other choice but to. And even if I just felt like not having full coverage, I would wear this. Because I'm wearing it today. And I'm loving it. When I set that tinted moisturizer, I have been reaching for my MAC Mineralized Loose, Pow Loose Powder. And this is a medium dark. I took the sponge out because I just thought it was yucky. And that's what the product looks like. Them two together, I love it. For me, in my opinion, it's perfection. For me, when I put them two together, I love it. It's amazing. The primer that I have been using for last month and for a long time. <laughs> for a little bit of a long time, maybe a couple months. But for April, I have been reaching for this solely. Is the Smashbox. I even used it for my daughter's prom Saturday. Um, the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Primer. I got this from Amazon. It is two ounces. It was about 50 bucks. And it is so worth it. I am going to repurchase this. And I've had it for some time. But you see, I have used almost half. And I will definitely repurchase this. This is a fantastic primer. I have worn this alone to work. It is fantastic. It smooths out my skin. It seems like it evens it out. It, it, it minimizes the pores is not if not totally eradicated my pores when I work by itself to work mind you I'm at work for eight hours I get ready for work at 4 30 in the morning by 5 30 my face is completely done oh, this is one of the days why I'm waking up to about 5 45 <laughs> but my point is it lasts me all day with this primer now since it's been getting hot and y'all in my t-zone who is like just all mania like I could fry some fish and some french fries and probably something else in the t-zone when you get hot 
But I've been raving about this for a long time. Excuse me, it is the Milk and Magnesia Primer. This is Philips. Now, honestly, I've used non Philip brand Milk and Magnesia, and it works just as well, if not even better, in my opinion. After I prime my face, I put this in my T-zone. Here on my nose. That's it. And all I do is take, I don't even put cotton on it because I don't want the residue from the cotton on my face. I take a finger or two, shake it up, put it in the cap, and tap, 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 in the form of a T. I let it dry, and then I apply my primer. Lasts all day. I don't even have to touch up. I left my makeup back home last time I was at work. Didn't even have to touch up all day. I came home and I was like, wow. I sat with Scandinavia. Raved about this. It's going to be in my favorites. It is what it is. I love this stuff. This is the oil free or oil control oily skin formula. You can purchase this from the site Scandinavia. I purchased mine from Amazon. The combination. I don't have to touch nothing. Unless... I'm going somewhere after work just to minimize, you know, whatever may have come through depending on what kind of stuff I had to do at work. But last, like I said, last time I left my makeup bag home, who I thought I was going to go through, I thought I was going to die. Honey, but I didn't. I went through at least 12 hours with the combination of Milk and Magnesia, Scandinavia, Smashbox Primer, and my Nora Sitting Moisturizer and did not have to touch up. For me... That is a credible. It is amazing. Um, under my eyes lately, um, I have been using this. The L'Oreal Studio Secrets anti dull Primer. Under my eyes it has little light reflectors in it. From watching Destiny Godly's videos, I have learned how to use this properly. And I used it today. I have a tutorial under my eyes. I love it. I love it. I have it in the, the orange. I have it in the salmon. And I have it in the green. Honey, I love this stuff. I will repurchase it. I've had this for quite some time. And I ain't even nowhere near the middle. A little goes a long way. And it works incredibly. I love it. Um, for contouring and blush lately, I have been using my La Femme palettes. I have two. One was made by the palette thingy. Palette Lab from Makeup Mania is where I purchased them. And I think it was Nightlife. I named it Nightlife. And this one was made by, yes, it was. I, could, I remember the colors. It was made by the Palette Lab. This is how I tag mine. I use medical tape and a Sharpie to tag my colors blush colors um I have two this one's what I call night nightlife this was my first lip and palette and in nightlife I have peach natural coral apricot coral spice soft beige which I have been using to contour with I also have redwood peach sparkle russet golden rose mauve and sienna these colors did the fam i'ma beat them down these colors are super pigmented i mean i have matte blushes y'all know we all have matte blushes and in compare just for the price alone one pan of this is what 250 250 250 the whole palette was 14 I mean the the palette itself fourteen dollars. The 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 blush is two fifty. I have a um eyeshadow palette from Mac. That was ten times more than it's about. I have individual blushes from Mac, and I probably have I don't know. I have quite a few of them, and each of those I want to say about twenty dollars. I don't know. I don't remember. But this I've been using these palettes steadily steadily since I purchased them and um the palettes I've been using in the month of March is my highlight palette and that's the number two and I've been using that with brown to contour and cinnabar as my blush and it's what I call highlight it has white flamingo pink bisque 
Frambrosia, which was on back order, but when it was sent to me, it was on back order. And three days later, I got it. It was Frambrosia. Beautiful. I have Nude and Fuchsia, Brown and Cinnabar, Dark Brown and Crystal Cafe. I have Lilac Champagne and Charcoal. Some of these colors I have used on my eyes. Charcoal is a beautiful color for a smoky eye. If you want to smoke out a deep brown like a Kim Kardashian, that charcoal and dark brown and a little bit of nude or bisque as a highlight. Oh, honey. Baby. I'm loving them. La Femme. $2.50 for the pan. $14 for the palette. The palette lab is actually cheaper than putting the palette together, but I wanted to experience both. So, Nightlife was palette lab and High Life was the palette I put together. Okay, so for my eyes for the month of April, going to work every day, I've been doing a neutral, smoky look, similar to what I have on today. I switch up the bases for today's base. I use the MAC Highlight, I mean MAC Paint Pot, I'm sorry, in Treasure Hunt. But for my eyes, I have been using this Lorac Unzipped Palette. Colors are amazing amazing truly pigmented true the paint the color payoff you just gotta go like that boom and it's there just like with the lefebvre all you gotta do is touch it and it's there <laughs> see what i'm saying i love them um the main colors i've been working with is this four over here it is unconditional unbridled unspoken and untamed and normally for a highlight i've been using undercover I have the Naked palettes. I have Naked 1, Naked 2. I have um, a neutral palette from Coastal Scent. No, Crown Brush. Um, I have other palettes that have uh, an abundance of neutral colors. But this has been my favorite for the month of April. The month of April. For my eyelashes in the month of April. Um, I have some eBay lashes that I got. that were like a dollar. And I'm going to use them because... I paid for them. But for the month of April, my favorites and will always be my favorites. But what I've been wearing um, what I've been wearing in the month of April that will be in this month's the month of April favorites are the rich, the um not see. Because I like them too and I wear them when I go out when I'm not at work with Cherry 100s. But for working, I have been wearing the Ardell lashes in 113. I'm wearing them today. I wear them to work daily except when I want to use the eBay lashes. But these are the Ardell 113s. The adhesive I use with the Ardell lashes or any of my lashes um, have been for some time now but will be in the favorites as the duo. I actually prefer the duo dark over the duo light tone because the duo dark seems to adhere quicker and last longer than the duo than the duo light tone that's just my opinion um and my experience for eyeliner in the month of april i have been using um i have two things <laughs> the wet and wild black is black 886 gel liner and the sephora waterproof liners in black or brown they have the smudgers on the end of them love them both truly waterproof i can put this in my waterline and be cool a lot of stuff that say waterproof i cannot put in my waterline and be cool for extended periods of time even with the wet and wild it does not stay in my waterline um if i know i'm going to be doing an excessive amount of sweating or bathing other people at my work i will use this I will use either the black or the brown and these are Sephora coal and liner waterproof pencils and they have the smudger on the end which I love love those Sephora I forget how much they were but I love them um for brushes for my foundation and powder when I set um I have been loving the flat bronzer from the crown brush Italian battery hair set um, I think I got the 15 piece set from when it was on Hot Look and love it. 
when I'm applying my NARS to the moisturizer, the Sigma Flat Kabuki is the go-to. Love it. All the time, love it. For doing my smoky eyes, <laughs> um, I've been using the Sigma Small Tipper Blending E45 brush. Looks like that. And I love it. I'm going to be honest with you. Every brush in this Sigma Premium Professional Kit, love it. I have t uh, brushes in here that I have not used. Um, one I just used um, Saturday for my daughter's prom, and it is the Large Powder F20. And I keep them in brush guards. I love these things. I used that this past um, Saturday for the first time. But as you can see, I have some brushes in here that I have not used yet. And it's only because I have no need to use them as of yet. But these brushes are the bomb. I forget how much they cost. And I bought them some time ago. But I love them. Sigma. Everybody knows about Sigma brushes. If you don't know, you should jump on it. Um, they have the brushes that have the gold on them now. I haven't got them yet. But I intend to. After we get settled. Because we're going to be moving and stuff. And senior year is expensive. So I'm not going to be blowing a lot of money on unnecessary things yet. Another of my favorites this month is the Sedona Lace 904 brush. That little thing right there, it can't work. You know what I'm saying? It, right up in here when I'm creating my crease, when I'm creating, fabricating a crease. Baby, that thing right there, on the money. And that's from the Sedona Lace. Um, the brush set, I don't know what it's called. I'm going to show it to y'all, but I don't know what it's called. It just says Sedona Lace on it, wrapped up in a little leather or some type of leather material. And it comes in a little mesh bag. Um, I still have a lot of brushes in here that I don't use as well. And for no particular reason, it's not because I don't like them. I just have not used them yet. But they are beautiful brushes. They are gorgeous. The set looks like that. And it's quite a few that I have not used, but it's no reason why I haven't. I just haven't used them yet. Um, these are fantastic brushes as well. Now, I'ma do I'ma be I'ma be I'ma 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 be I'ma be chilling. <laughs> I'm gonna do skincare now. I have totally revamped a lot of things that I am doing in my personal life as far as getting healthy and being healthy. From my personal to like weight gain, um, weight loss, shaping, toning, being more fit. To what I use on my body, um, what I clean my house with, what I use on my face. So what I have been using on my face consists of more natural products. Oh, before we get to that. Because I've been using waterproof. Ha ha. I had to, to get this. It's um, Sephora's waterproof eye makeup remover. I don't remember how much this costs. I've used this much. It is fantastic. I put it on the cotton round and I leave it for a couple of seconds. Not even that much. But it wipes the waterproof right off. In my tear duct, sometimes I tight line. You know tight lining. Y'all know. Um, Not my tear duct. My lower lash line, tight line. Mascara takes it right off like that. Love it for my face. I was an advocate for proactive. I would say anybody, if you have acne prone skin, scarring, anything like that, use proactive. Proactive became very harsh on my skin. It dried me out and created more problems. I chose to stop using proactive, give my face a 14 to 28 day break. And I started to use Ambi. Ambi was fine, but it did not like my lips. Ambi did something to my lips that I did not like. So, um, I stopped using Ambi, you know, on my total face. And I was using Palmer's exfoliator on my lips. Honey, it was getting to, to be too much. And the moisturizer was good, but it burned my eyes. I couldn't, I wouldn't even go near my eyes and my eyes would just be watering and red. Um, 
so I stopped using that on my face and just to use it up I use it on certain parts of my body some I even use the scrub on my feet just to use it up I still have moisturizer so if y'all want to try the moisturizer I have two of these bad boys unused inbox me and I will send them to you for free if you want to try the moisturizer I will send, send me your information inbox me message me um sugarpopqueen75 at gmail.com or youtube message me I will send you them for free they are good moisturizers they have SPF in them they just I'm a little too sensitive for them therefore I have been doing some researching and studying on natural products natural ways to cleanse tone and exfoliate the face this is a product that I have used before I've used it on my total body um, I have watched quite a few videos of women using this on their face to clean their face. It is Tropical Naturals Doodle Soon Black Soap. The ingredients are natural. It is in Doodle Soon is the age long African black soap made the traditional way by hand from pure natural ingredients and herbs from the tropical rainforest and savannah regions. No artificial colors, preservatives, biodegradable. I love this. When I used it on my body, it was magnificent. Toning, I have some scarring on um, some parts of my body, mostly my legs, because I was rough. And from being at work and banging myself, it would turn into scars, I was, and I'm pretty light. Um, so using this on my face, um, you do not have to use very much. I use lukewarm water in the shower. I run this soap in my hand. I don't even use a washcloth. I run it in my hand. And I wash my face, entire face, lips and all, get in my eyes, all that. You only need very little if you want to try this soap on your face. Um, when I want to kind of deep clean my face, I run it through my hand, lather, rinse one hand, lather again, and then deep clean my face. And circular motions. Um, and I love it. And I rinse. Rinse it off. My face feels amazing after I rinse it off. It is not drying. Um, even when I use it with extremely hot water because I like hot water, but in the summer, mm -mm, I've been passed out in the shower. But the cool water, I don't even use a washcloth. Like I said, I just use my hands. On my neck, I use a washcloth in my ears. To exfoliate my lips, I don't have it in here, but I have one of them egg-shaped exfoliators. You can get them from Amazon. I think I got four in a pack for like three bucks. And I use that just for my lips. I don't exfoliate my face anymore. And doing pretty well. I had a lot of scarring. The scarring is fading. I still get a breakout every now and then, but this, you know, ladies, we get the menstrual things and they pop up on our face. And it's all right. To tone my face. I use Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar and a mixture of water. I need to put a little bit more water in here because I either do, I don't do 50-50, I do like 80% water, 20%, or not even that much, like 90% water, 10% apple cider vinegar because it is very strong, but it is excellent in toning. I use it on my neck, face, down my chest. Every day, once a day, with a large exfoliating cotton round. And then, depending on how I clean my face, whether I deep clean or regular clean, I use the exfoliating side, or on the days that I do not deep clean, I use the smooth side. Smoother side. After that, I pat my face dry with a hand towel. Not a paper towel, like a regular towel, but it's a hand towel. And I moisturize with the fruit of the earth aloe gel. It is 100% aloe gel, fragrance free, no color added. Does not, is not harmful to my face. I use it face, body, neck. I've used this on my feet, <laughs> but mostly for my face, neck, and ears. Um, I used to have darkness around here, like a lot. I don't know if y'all can see it. But it's, you can see my stars now. Whereas it was a point where you couldn't even see my stars hardly. I don't know if you can see it by the time. Okay. The scarring down here is fading. 
I mean, this it's just amazing what the naturalness of products can do for you. Because if you think about it, back in the day, people didn't have proactive. Johnson & Johnson wasn't even out and making Ambi in 1830-something. What were people doing? What were people doing in their skin? If you look at them pictures, look at your great-grandma. Look at your great-uncle and your great-great-aunts and all. Their skin is beautiful. And what were they doing? Washing their face and cleansing their face with things that they had available. It didn't have to be brags, but it was raw apple vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. It was raw soap. It wasn't pasteurized and preserved and filled with all these ingredients that shouldn't even be in there in the first place, let alone put it on your body, on your face. So, <laughs> I hope y'all enjoy my favorite videos. Video, my very first one. Thumbs up if you like it and if you would like me to continue. I have and use a lot of products. Um, if I do this favorites video and y'all like it and would like me to continue to do them, leave a comment, thumb it up, and next month I will be sure to not include the favorites I use for this month. I do diversify with blush and um, because it's hot I probably will stick with the foundation, um, but I do use different products of blushes. I have lip colors that lipsticks and glosses that I use. On various occasions, I have, um, you know, just bountiful amounts <laughs> of product that I could include in favorites. So, if you like these favorites and you would like me to keep doing a monthly favorite, please let me know. If you'd like to know how I got this look, I have a tutorial. I don't know if I'm going to upload this before or after. But it will be there, so feel free to check it out. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, if you are a business or an individual with your own business and you would like me to review your product, please inbox me at sugarpopcoin75 at gmail.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, um, Beautylish. My handles for all three are sugarpopqueen75. I thank you, I welcome you, and I greatly appreciate you watching my videos. Stay tuned for more. And just a side note, I'm going through a change in my diet and health habits as far and including weight loss. Um, I wasn't sure about documenting my journey, but if you'd like me to do some updates, let me know. Um, and you want to know what things I have incorporated to lose weight, let me know. I started my weight loss journey in the beginning of April and my first weigh-in was a week later after I started my journey and I lost four pounds. So, I'm going to keep it up. Thank y'all. Love you bunches, smooches, and stay great. Peace.